Welcome. That's Rob. That's Marcy. And we're the Handmade Heralds. Howdy. Here with our new monthly feature, a cup of sojo. Because y'all liked the last cup of sojo so much, we decided we're going to keep doing it. In robes. Why are we in robes? We felt like being a little, a little, um, comfy. We felt like that. This was a mutual decision for us to be here in robes. Aren't you happy? So happy. Let's begin. Let's. Let's start by talking hair, or mm. lack thereof. Mm. Yeah. On our last cup of sojo, you guys gave us a lot of love when, uh, when you heard about the snark with the uh, helmet hair comment, and I thank you for it. We've had some gems since then, some mm. good gems, mm -hmm. Rob. Cosmic says, prove me wrong. That is the female Bob Ross. Nailed it. <laughs> People want to know about your locks, too. Mm. Your luscious, your luscious dome here. Wayne Moody asks, mm -hmm. why doesn't Rob have hair? Because <sighs> hair is a pain in the butt, isn't it, folks? I've threatened to shave my own head. I've it's... threatened to shave her head. <laughs> Maybe you should, because in Kevin Rhodes' book, mm. Bald is Beautiful, mm. Daddy Harrell reminds me of Patrick Stewart. Yes. Mm. Well, Kevin, make it so. I might make a t-shirt out of that. Twixie No mm -hmm. wondered something here. I saw you in a Subway commercial. OMG, Una Baluna. Please tell me it was you and then I'm not doing drugs of which I have no knowledge. Are you doing drugs that you do have knowledge of? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. I didn't think that, but interesting that you posed that question. It just made, I, I was just wondering. Mm -hmm. It was me. You're, yes. you're not doing drugs of which you have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. Here's the correlation mm -hmm. to hair. A lot of people here on YouTube have commented on that spot. Mm. On a video that was mm -hmm. put up by Patriots Nation because the, the, mm -hmm. the video, the ad involves Coach Bill Belichick. It does. Here's a little conversation that went on in the comments. Are you ready for this, Rob? I, I'm, I'm going to hold on to my seat. I'm going to give you a masterpiece theater reading, okay? I'm going to call these people Lewis and Pink because they have a lot of numbers after their... I can't deal with saying all the numbers. Lewis says, mm. another mixed race or black woman with the hair. Mm. Pink. What's wrong with her hair? I think it looks good. Who cares if she's mixed? Lewis, nothing wrong with her hair. If you haven't noticed, every black woman on TV and commercials now has that hair. Natural hair has become a stereotype that white marketers use on nearly every black woman. They're telling you how to wear your hair. Mm. Pink, what? I saw a few other commercials with black women. One had straight pressed hair and the other had her natural hair out. When you're in a commercial, you wear your hair a certain style. It's the same for white women too. So IDK what you mean, they are trying to tell us how to wear our own natural hair. I mean it LOL, if it's not one thing, it's another bitching and complaining and can't be happy. Either way, it's always white people fault. Emoji with eyes raised to the heavens. I'm a black woman, BT dubs. Lewis, just an observation take notice sometime. I really have no idea what to make of that conversation. Well, I, it's just fascinating to me because, I mean, you're saying that natural hair is a stereotype? I think that's what Lewis was saying. This is actually my hair and, 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 and many people's hair, just as um, straight hair that mm -hmm. you can run your hands through or mm -hmm. cut into a 70s ferret faucet Farrah Fawcett. Ferret Fawcett. Ferret Fawcett. Ferret Fawcett? Ferret Fawcett is that a is the wonderful best actress. name for a ferret ever. <laughs> ferret Fawcett. <laughs> ferret Fawcett. I did mm -hmm. wear my hair mm -hmm. as I wanted to in that commercial. Right. Which is just as my hair is. Sometimes it's a little more frizzy. Sometimes it's a little more curly. But um, it's just my hair. Mm. This little side note. Mm -hmm. I am a Razorbacks fan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also a Steelers fan. Go Steelers. So Marcy working with Bill Belichick was painful. It was hard. Hard. It was hard for him. Except he was so sweet to her. Because I was on set. I was making sure everything was cool. Because we shot this in July in the middle. Of, this was like one of the first sets back. Yeah. During yeah, the pandemic. Right in the pandemic. So it was a little so nerve wracking. I was there to make sure things were safe. It was he, all good. He was so... Yeah. And he was so sweet. Now, I, I can't hate you, coach. 
I can't hate you anymore. He was delightful. I, I don't know what to do with myself. Coach. Cheers, Coach. Cheers, Coach. Well, seven and the littlest Mew. Seven and the littlest Mew. Yeah. Want to know more about hair care? Mm -hmm. You know Rob is Southern. He called that the bless you emoji. This is what I call the bless you emoji. Am I losing Southern points as a Texan? Uh-oh. Hmm. Texan. Well, as an Arkansan, <laughs> perhaps I'm not the best one to answer that question. Apparently there's a rivalry. My husband wondered how you condition your hair to get your curls so pretty with perfect corkscrews. I have actually had a lot of requests asking how I take care of my hair. So in some upcoming videos, I'm going to be showing you what I do with my hair. Mm -hmm. And if you decide that you've had enough of hair, I'll show you how I do my hair. <laughs> I think we should do a joint hair thing. Why not? Completely. <laughs> Mine takes about two minutes. Mm, is that true? Maybe less. Mm. I've been to the salon in 2020 several times. It's the Salon du Rob. Mm. I have cut Marcy's hair a couple of times this year. It's a little nerve wracking. But it's been the best haircut I've ever had. Um, really? Plus, I can always go back to the stylist and say, you didn't get this section and he has to do it. It's so. been the best haircut she's ever had mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in 2020. Yeah, yeah. I think that's saying a lot. <laughs> it's the only haircut you had in 2020. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to 2021 and seeing if it still yes. rings true. Mm. As you just said, you were born a Hogs fan. Mm. KDW spotted mm -hmm. your mug in the last cup of Sojo and asked, mm. is that a Razorback mug random or Arkansas? connection. So, so how did you come to be a, a Hogs fan? Well, when you're born in Arkansas, mm -hmm. specifically in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where the university is, you don't really have a choice. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to have a choice because you love the Hogs. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, dyed in the wool, mm -hmm. Razorback fan right here. One of my first dates with Rob was, what was that? The basketball Razorback Hogs yeah. won the national championship. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry that you don't remember that. Well, I remember they won a, a, a big deal. It's the biggest deal. It was, okay. <laughs> it's a very big deal. Everyone started doing this incredibly raucous and terrifying chant. And Rob, should we should we call the hogs for the folks out there? Don't see why not. I think we should. Let's, let's we, gotta, yeah. we, we gotta really go all the way with this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Boom! My so, microphone popped out. Excuse uh, me while I fix this. It, it popped out because you were too raucous was, with the razor bags. I was too raucous uh, calling the hogs. Now yeah. the magic is, you know, we've ruined You've ruined the, the illusion. Magic. You've broken the fourth wall. I have. We're going to talk about something else breaking the fourth wall now. We break the fourth wall constantly. Oh, because we look at the camera. Yes. You know, but I'm this not is really the illusion the that illu we've, we've now seen. Oh, excuse me, Professor, <laughs> Professor Foman <laughs> TV. <laughs> Film 101. Oh, well then. Film 101. Where you, should we move on to our next question? Let's do it. Okay. See, the microphone keeps popping it's out. It's okay. People know it's there now. I know, but it's... People like good it's sound. So, and know. now it's going to go... Okay. It. Film 101. Okay. Katie Cottingham informed me, and this did mm. make me mad. Mm. Mind-blown emoji. Mind-blown emoji. Mind-blown emoji. I just got served an hour-long ad at the end. Good Lord. Sorry, I let every other ad roll because I believe creators should be compensated for their work. Thank you, Katie. But I can't do a 60 minute ad for Google monkey with the hands on the eyes because she just can't look and I do not blame you. 60 minutes is not an ad. Wait, a 60 minute ad on one of our videos? On one of our videos because, because creators here on YouTube, we use ads as a way to keep the creating going because um, you know, the mic you just saw in, in Rob's lapel costs money. The, mm. the, the materials for the videos cost mm -hmm. money. So, you know, I put ads on in order to get that revenue in so we can keep creating. You know, the only thing I could say is, what the I think I'm definitely going to have to use a sensor bar for at that one. 60 minutes isn't enough. 60 minutes deserves that. Yeah. So what we're doing now, and you guys are going to have to tell us as the Technicolor Troop if this works out, I'm implementing a do not skip ads. Mm. Apparently, this means that the ads that you are served are going to be no longer than six 
to 15 seconds. That's doable. And if you just let those roll, it means that we can, um, you know, keep creating because uh, it does actually cost money to create. But n no, neither of us want you watching a 60 no. minute ad. If it goes longer than 30 seconds, skip that bad yeah, boy. Longer than 30 seconds, out. That's enough of the business talk, isn't it? I, I, I can't believe I made it that far. Rob, mm -hmm. I have a longtime sewing friend, mm -hmm. Meredith Piat. So she saw that we were celebrating our anniversary mm. in our last cup of sojo. And she wants to know, what anniversary is it? Well. But before you answer that, we're going to take a quick ad break. Chuck, can you just roll that, that, um, Quick ad for us. Do not serve a 60 minute ad, Chuck. Do not. I will come for you, Chuck. Rob, mm -hmm. I think before the commercial break, mm -hmm. you were going to give them that digit. 25 years. 25 years. Yep. Mm. Sidebar, mm. somebody on Wikipedia keeps going into the page mm. and deleting the fact that we're married. Mm -hmm. Questioning it, really. Somebody doesn't want you to be married to me. I don't know who that is. Or vice versa. Maybe we can address some other questions here about mm. masks. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by masks. Ellen Peffer says, I actually haven't made any masks. Mm. My daughter says they are fashion accessories. Mm. End of questions. I approve of that statement. Mm. That's all there is, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's just share a few tips for the Technicolor Troop. What do you say? What tips from other people about yes. that? Yes. Let's do that. Tanya Trezise yeah. says, y'all are so fun. Thank you. I wanted to say that I use filthy material as the inner layer of any mask. It's N95 equivalent material and it's a lot easier to breathe through than several layers of fabric. Fun fact, when the pandemic first started in New York, I heard that vacuum cleaner bags worked as a good mask filter. And so I cut up one of our brand new vacuum filter bags and then found out it was not the right type to breathe through because it had little particles in it that made me start to cough, which of course made me think that I caught the COVID. Fun. So I'm kind of into just straight up cotton for my masks after that little escapade, but I have heard that filthy is acceptable and do you. Mm. People are also still wondering how to size these for kiddos. Um, and fellow creator Timothy Totten, who has been rocking the mask videos, has got some advice for smaller masks, perhaps cutting two pieces one inch offset from the middle and overlapping like an envelope closure on a throw pillar would be easier than trying to feed a filter from the side, so for the pocket. Did you say throw pillar? Did I say a throw pillar? I think you said a throw pillar. Is 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 like South, a throw pillar. Is the South getting to me there? I think it is. This is a throw pillar. It's a throw pillar. Got a throw pillar right behind right me right there now. On, the, on the sofa. <laughs> did I say throw pillar? Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> if I didn't, I'm going to from now on. We have a quick tip from the dentist office. In Novak, you can also use a piece from Barrel Full of Monkeys to hold the masks all day. Well, I mean, that would just be wonderful because you know how I love a little bit of head bling. And you got a little monkey in the back? You got a little monkey on the back. Why not? You got a monkey on your back. Mm. Kate Landau went MacGyver with this one. Mm. I bought a box of quart-sized Ziploc bags today, and when I opened the box along the perforated lines, the piece I removed greatly resembles the shape of this pattern, only smaller. I held it up to my two-year-old's face and it's the perfect size. Alert, alert. Anybody who's looking to make one for a kiddo, get you some Ziploc quart size bags. Quart size bags, boom. That is so cool. I would actually try that if I weren't done making masks. She's still gotta make me another tube mask. That's actually on my sewing shelf and I just keep forgetting that it's there. Forgetting by, she means. Forgetting by, you mean. <laughs> Ooh, forget you do. <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching a little bit of Baby Yoda. He's not talking Baby yet, but... Baby Yoda. <laughs> By forgetting, <laughs> she means <laughs> ignoring. Uh, I'm not... I might be ignoring it. <laughs> you might? I think the fire's going out. We've talked past the fire. Let's move on. Okay, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Catherine Wilkie has an interesting problem. Been tasked with making singer's masks for the chorus I sing with. Can you help? Pretty please. P.S. You and your husband. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I can't talk. <laughs> we might not have slept that much last night. Make uh, of that at, at what all. you will. Mm. <laughs> you and your hubby are hilarious. X. Husby, you are hilarious. <laughs> husby, get me a throat filler. Oh, All right, I, I'll try and think on that one. What else is there? Pamela Thompson asks, do you do surgery caps? Well, they're a little hard for me, per se. Babe, you what? could teach people how to make a surgery cap very easily. Oh, I could? Yes. Because I've made them so much? You could, you can do this. People need it. And Rita Arias, she is a healthcare worker. She says, I love watching you. Heart emoji. That's nice. I would love to learn to sew scrub caps as they are in short supply as well. I don't have as beautiful hair as yours, but it's long enough to keep it covered. Well, first of all, I'm sure her hair is beautiful. I'm sure it is. And she's a healthcare worker, so I kind of can't say no. No, you can't. The healthcare workers, they're, they're kicking ass, you people. Kicking I'm gonna, I will work on that. You've got some video tutorial requests too. You're a man of many talents, Rob. As Darren Fancy, love the handle, has observed, love a black light. We need to see the laundry detergent on the walls. Mm. Videos, please. Mm. You came up with that. And perhaps a wool vest with welt pockets tutorial from Rob. <sighs> Merry Festivus, everyone. That was specifically addressed to you. I love the Merry Festivus, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Don't avoid the subject. Okay, I'm not avoiding. <laughs> I did make this. Yeah. Once upon a time. Yeah, it's right there. I had amazing help. You guys. Who's here with you right now? You. So yes, you could help me make it. Couldn't I? You could. Couldn't we let the people in on this? Sewing aside. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one maybe you can handle for okay, the people. Maybe. People are still waiting for that bubble bath. Bubble bath. Kathy Eubanks oh. says, will you share your recipe for Una Baluna bath oil, please? Oh, please, please, mm -hmm. please. Happy Yes, I, I, I will. So we're like two out of three right now. He's on the fence about sewing and he's kind of waffling on the black light too. I'm but not uh, let's go for one more. <laughs> this was a comment through Instagram. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm getting you back for all the mask stuff. You, you know that, right? Not a hoax has noticed that you all love your Joe. Mm. What is your preferred method for a great cup? Ooh. Now this one, I know he's down with this. I am a coffee geek, mm -hmm. but I'm not a coffee pro. Yes, he is. I'm a coffee tinkerer. He's a pro. There's some amazing guys out there who do uh, uh, astounding stuff with coffee. One of them, James Hoffman, I was just looking at one of his videos the other day. Go check out his YouTube channel. We can probably put it in the links. Currently, I have come up with this Blooming Cold Brew. Blooming Cold Brew. Blooming Cold Brew. Mm -hmm. So. I guess I could teach people how to make that. It's really good, y'all. And you've it's, told me it's easy, though. It looks like a lot of steps to me. Well, it's, it is steps, but you can't mess it up. Okay. But here's the other thing. Yeah. Um, if you like your coffee currently, I'm a coffee geek, not a coffee snob. Mm -hmm. So enjoy your coffee how you want to. But if I'll teach people if they want to know. This is true. This is a very good point. He's a coffee geek, not a coffee snob. Mm -hmm. he, doesn't, he wants people to enjoy their coffee enjoy the way they coffee. want to enjoy it. All right. So we know he's into the coffee. We've got some shout outs from our latest video, mm -hmm. which was the blinged up shrug video. Smartistic Studio says, where do you buy most of your fabrics? Well, I'm happy to talk fabric. Mm. This is gonna be like Rob talking about coffee. Mm. All of the fabrics in that last video came from Madam Joanne Fabrics, also known as Joanne's. Nice. Joanne rocked it the you last know, time I was And they were very there. sweet last time they we were, were there. They were very sweet. We met a fan of the channel, a mother and daughter duo, superstar mom and her rock star daughter, Layla. I met them in the cutting line at Joanne's and the story she told me was so incredible that I was left speechless. And then they called me to the cutting table. I'm sorry that we didn't get to chat more. I hope I see you again at the Joanne's because I'm going back to the Joanne's because they had some good fabric last time. And your story really moved me. Yeah, it was awesome. I wish I was there to meet you guys. Yeah. He was waiting outside in the car because yeah. he was chauffeuring me around that day. I was. Oh, very sweet. Yeah. Deborah Hartman says, wow, beautiful. Wish I was young and could wear that and had someplace fancy to go. Deborah, no matter what age you are, you can wear that bling. I wore that right here in front of the fire when it had flames the other day. Mm -hmm. Princess Pamela's World says, mm. okay, I love the shrug. But where are them slippers from? You make them? Is there a vid? Well, the slippers she's referencing are, are these slippers. 
and I think it would be really fun to make a pair of these slippers. So yes, Princess Pamela, there is a video coming. In fact, Rob doesn't know it yet, but he will be accompanying, accompanying, accompanying? Accompanying. Yes, me to the Joann's mm. to pick out fabric for these slippers. Mm. So we're going to do that together. S that sounds good. We've got a new commenter on the channel, Rob. Mm. His name is Robert D. Robert D, who could that be? Who could that be? Could that possibly be part of Those little knife thingies in danger stocking mm. are twine cutters. We used to wear them at the newspaper distributor where I worked many years ago to cut the twine around the newspaper bundles. Does anyone remember what newspapers were? I remember what Same. newspapers were, Robert D, because I used to accompany you. Accompany. What is that word? Accompany. Accompany you on your newspaper route every Saturday. Every time we talk to Robert D. To Robert D. Every time we talk to Robert D, I learned something. I had no idea about that. That's very, very cool. Robert D is a font of information. Yeah. Well, Robert Logan has a reply to our, our shrug video mm. as well. No longer sharp related to mundane tasks. I can so relate. That sounded like a haiku. Doesn't it? It does. He's kind of a writer. Kind of. Mm -hmm. I think he mm -hmm. is. So he's referencing my older scissors. Mm -hmm. He has more to say though. Cautionary tale for Rob? Mm. Better keep bringing the wood. Ooh. Truer words were never spoken. And with that, I think, babe, you're going to need to bring some wood to that fire. We've talked it clean out. Time to get the wood. Time to get the wood out. Wow, you really brought the wood. I always do. Peace out, everybody. Emphasis on peace. And happy new year.